All right, guys. What's up? The vert is inspected now. Sketchy. <laughs> and it was overheating on the way home because of the traffic, I believe. So I put the clutch fan on. It's sketchy. I wasn't using one, but there's one on there now. I'm gonna rebleed the coolant, and we'll see how that goes. And the clutch line came in for the S14, so I'm gonna put that in after I bleed the coolant. Just ate some Chinese, thanks to Rudy for picking it up. And these kids are in here slacking. We'll go spy on them. Hey, work in your car. Wait. <laughs> Clutch line is going in. I already attached it to the master. Just jack up the car. I'm gonna put the lower part of the clutch line in, and then radiators next, and pretty much good. All right, we just got the clutch line in. Made a little mess in here. Yeah, the radiators next, and got the radiator put in. I still gotta put these brackets on, I'll do that in like two seconds, like right here. It's so easy to do. Give them a tighten up with this wrench quick and the radiator's in. It's already connected on the top and bottom. There's not much left to do besides figure out why it's still breaking up. I guess I'm gonna test drive it tomorrow and we'll see what happens. Brian's over here. Still putting in work, trying to get his car running. I need a, what is it, a wide band and a radiator and then just fluids and I'm all set I think. It's good to drive it but we're going to try and get it started probably before all that. We might be picking up a radiator tomorrow, ordering a wide band, we'll see. I'm going to, I'm really trying to make this Thompson event at 26 so. So am I so. We got motivation <laughs> here. We're good. Rudy's helping out a bunch. Tim's helping out a bunch. Everyone's helping out a bunch, which is sick. So, hopefully, both of these things will be at Thompson Speedway on the 26th of this month. So, well, what's up, guys? Um, today, I just got some breakfast. And this thing's gonna get some low in the front. It's mad easy. Two bolts down bottom, three up top. And maybe lower the rear some more so it's not like raking opposite afterwards. But we'll see. I'm gonna jack it up and then get the uh, what are they? The coilovers that Rudy gave me in the front so I have some low in the front, I guess. We'll see. Driver side shut out. Look at this dookie thing. Let me go grab the other coil over. All right, so we got the driver side in. We move on to the passenger side. Five bolts, like I said, it's so easy to get them out. All right. 
This side's finally done. It's gonna be raking hard out there, I call it. Alright, so both wheels are on. I'll set you guys up on the tripod, but I can already tell it's gonna be raking hard, so definitely gonna have to lower the back. So the coils might have to come out of the front of this. It's so bouncy when you're driving it, but because I'm bored, there's nothing else to do really. I'm going to check the compression on the RB and just eliminate that. Spark plugs and coil packs so I can get the compression tester in there. All the spark plugs are out. They're up there. I'm gonna go grab the compression tester, rob the battery from the vert, and We'll see what this thing is at. Hopefully it's good, because I really... Alright, so we were using the compression tester that didn't work. We found the one that works. So we're going to try that one now. It was still going up. Alright, you hit 120. Yeah. Stop. Go. Stop. Third one's one fifty. So I'm kind of sad right now. This thing's probably gonna have to be pulled out because I added oil to each cylinder and this one read 160, 160, 180, 160, 160, 160. And that means the piston rings are probably shot. So this thing's gonna be out of commission for a while. But we still have the vert to drift with if it comes down to it, which it probably will. So, gonna try one more thing that Rudy suggested, and if that doesn't work, then the RB's getting pulled tomorrow. We'll see. We're back. Um, the vert rides a little better with air in the front, but it's still a little bouncy. I don't know. I'm I'm just lost right now. We got some WD-40, Rudy said to pour it in the cylinders as high as I can and like that should clean out the 
carbon buildup and free up the piston rings a little bit. But if that doesn't, it's coming out tomorrow and she's getting torn apart sadly. So I'm just gonna pour some some of this stuff into each cylinder. So I guess we just let this all sit in there and we'll see what happens tomorrow. This sucks. What's up guys? Back. S14 vert hatch. This thing's pretty much ready to crank up. Just waiting on this kid. You need a 12. You what? had it? So Brian's just gonna give it a crank and we'll see what happens. It's even it will. Nope. Pushing the clutch? You don't need to. Yes you do. No, you don't. Do it now. So we might have figured out the problem. This idiot didn't sand down the paint. He just had a ground going to straight paint. And he blames me for pulling off the engine harness. Yeah. Reattach the ground. This. With the paint clean. And now he's doing something. I gotta do this before I forget. Just the cool lines. That hose is looking sketchy. Still doesn't move. Hey! Fucking getting pissed over here. I'm just trying to drift. Ready? Watch this. This is going to be the sickest line anyone's ever seen on YouTube. LZ. There? Get ready for it. If I can link it. We'll see. Tap the E, tap the E. Fuck me, this isn't going to be it. E break. Oh! Fuck! Alright, so. This idiot didn't have yo, the right I, plug hooked yo, up. Should I take this off or it doesn't start? Yeah. I never said. Do it a couple of times. Do it All for like. I'm saying is. Do it for like 15 do it seconds. A times. Online it's. Do it again. Alright. Alright. Now we're gonna plug this in. And give it a shot. You got water in this? No. no if he's just starting it quick, he doesn't. No, I know, to. but I. That's where we're going to end this video. As you saw, we got the S13 hatch running with the SR. We found out some bad news about the S14, but that should be fixed in like a month. Month tops, hopefully, because I actually want to get out on the track like as soon as possible. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys like the video, subscribe, comment, like, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.